Hi, welcome to the series Learn Excel in 24 hours. In this video, we'll continue our discussion about pivot table analysis and this time we'll be using the sample data file with the shipment details. We'll take that particular sample data file and apart from the pivot table analysis, we'll also review some of the other things like the text function of left, uh, inserting charts etc because this one is a slightly advanced data analysis uh, section so what we do is from this uh, sample data file we copy data from columns A to G and paste them onto a separate workbook now as usual when we have uh, such data where there are multiple uh, repetitions of the container number etc we go to the data section and remove the duplicates. Now if you look at the container size, there are different kind of container sizes available. We want to make a reasonable comparison and give it some sort of a numeric value. What we will do is, we will insert a column to the right of the container size and label this data field as TEUs. Now, we select all the rows of data where container size is 20 and we assign the TEU value as 1. Next, we take the 40 and 40 high cube container size and we assign the TEU value as 2. And then we take the 45 HC container size and assign a TEU value of 1.25. Just one thing I want to flag over here is that in real life, the 45 HC container size has a TEU value of 2.25. Here I've just put in 1.25. Our objective is to learn pivot table analysis, but just keep that in mind that this is a hypothetical value put in for 45 HC. That's not the real life value. Now, if we look at the data field origin, it has a specific format. It has two alphabets which forms the country code, followed by a hyphen and followed by the city. For this particular analysis, we are only concerned with the country, origin country rather than the origin city. So to do that, what we will do is next to the origin uh, field, we insert a column and we just say country and because we know that the first two characters in the field origin represents the country code we will say equal to left e2 comma 2 and then we do the drag and drop across the entire data column so we get the country code field now we will start with the pivot table analysis so as usual we go to the insert menu option and click on pivot table so you can see there's a blank pivot table on to the left hand side on the right hand side on top you have the pivot chart fields and on the bottom right hand side you have four sections filters access categories values etc in this pivot table let us say we want to analyze TUs from different country codes so we will drag and drop the country code section in the rows and we will take the TUs in the values section so we get this particular pivot table analysis where we have TUs per country let's say we want to represent this data in graphical format so what we can do is we can select the data go to insert and then in the charts section select on the bar chart so we get a bar chart analysis of TUs per country. We can just resize this so that it becomes visually a little clearer. Next, let us say we want to do another data analysis. Keeping this particular data analysis set intact, the next one is a separate analysis altogether. So again we go to the data in sheet 1, we again click on the 
insert pivot table option this time let us say we want to do the analysis on the basis of rows specifically we want to do the analysis on the basis of destination in the rows section and t use in the values section so we drag and drop destination into the rows and t use into the values so we get the summary data over here as to for each destination city what is the sum of t use that has gone in now let us say we want to represent this data in the form of a pie chart so we select the data in the pivot table go to insert chart select the 3d pie chart option resize it and then we have a visual representation as well so we have the data pivot table analyzed on the basis of data in sheet 1 and we have this pie chart which is giving us the data analysis there are numerous permutations and combinations possible for pivot charts and pivot table analysis so there are some more permutations and combinations that I have done I would encourage you to observe those carefully and then try to figure out uh, some permutations and combinations and practice some by yourself so that you get familiarized with the same. Just observe the remaining options as well. Thank you.